have thought it? A groundbreaking new study shows that the Milky Way may be located somewhere completely different than previously assumed. Until now, researchers assumed that we are part of the Laniakea Galaxy supercluster. Now, a new map of the known universe shows a completely different position. This would mean that our galaxy is part of a megastructure that challenges all cosmological models. If we believe the latest findings of a study from Germany, our picture of the universe could have been wrong so far. If the new maps of the universe are correct, then our galaxy group is located somewhere completely different than previously assumed. Until now, our Milky Way was identified as part of the Laniakea galaxy group, but now the latest measurements and mappings turn these assumptions upside down. According to this, our Milky Way could belong to the much larger Shapley supercluster. And this collection of galaxies is larger than anything we can imagine. The Shapley supercluster is one of the largest known structures in the universe, and this mass collection of galaxies is not only overwhelming in its sheer size, but also in its impossibility in the context of previous cosmological models. The Shapley supercluster is subject to similar findings as the ancient galaxies discovered by the James Webb Telescope. They simply do not fit into the structure of the current cosmological worldview of the Big Bang, the expansion, and the homogeneity of the universe. In a homogeneous universe, structures the size of the Shapley supercluster should not actually exist. The cluster is also too old to really support the Big Bang theory. A structure of this size could never have formed in the time that our universe has supposedly existed. A gigantic attractor through gravity. Who can imagine the universe as a gigantic whirlpool? But that's exactly how it seems to be. Until now, science liked to draw a picture of a linear universe in which objects are evenly distributed, provide predictable sizes, and show us a universe in which forces also act evenly. But this picture is crumbling, and the new study from Germany could play a significant role in creating a new cosmology. An international research team led by the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics in Potsdam used a novel cosmographic representation method to analyze the movements of 56,000 galaxies. This has resulted in the most up-to-date map of the local universe, and it reveals impressive new cosmic structures. On the one hand, the study shows an incredible large-scale network of galaxy superclusters, and on the other hand, the maps again revealed hints of structures and forces that we do not yet understand. This map has now also led to a reclassification of our galaxy within the previously known universe. The galaxies do not move randomly in the cosmos. They follow structures, invisible currents, and the attractive and repulsive force of matter and energy. Massive large-scale structures such as the Laniakea Galaxy Group and the Shapley Supercluster exert an attractive force through their density and gravity, thus collecting more and more matter. Scientists refer to such gravitational centers as attractors. The absolute giant among the megastructures is the 1.3 billion light-year-long Sloan Great Wall, a collection of countless galaxies, cosmic dust, and gas clouds. Counteracting the mass accumulations of galaxies are voids, gigantic spaces of emptiness, or a mysterious large-scale structure that was discovered in 2017 and was given the name Dipole Repeller. This megastructure, which is also characterized by the absence of matter, literally pushes galaxies away from itself, pushing them towards the great attractors. This creates dynamics that act like cosmic ocean currents. The Milky Way is surrounded by 17 megastructures, and each of these structures exerts tremendous forces in the universe. The interactions and overlaps of these structures are difficult to understand, which has complicated the previous classification of the exact position of our galaxy. You have to imagine that observing galaxies from Earth is a challenge. Our telescopes have to look through our own galaxy, then other galaxies overlay the image, and further and further behind, we find clues to groupings and megastructures. Until now, it has been difficult to predict exactly where our galaxy is located within these mass accumulations. The Cosmic Flows 4 survey is the latest approach to finally provide clarity. Using the latest algorithms, astronomers first showed the proper motions of the individual galaxies. 
Then they looked for patterns that would provide further details about the location and catchment areas of the large structures. We can again draw the comparison to ocean currents. At narrows, such as between two land masses, surface eddies and more violent currents can be seen. Beneath these structures and dynamics, which can be seen on the surface, there are further water masses, flow channels, and structures that influence the direction of flow of the water. In the cosmic context, these are the megastructures. The superficially visible movements of galaxies are part of a complex system where we can currently only scratch the surface with our scientific possibilities. Our universe is probably the largest ocean we can imagine. The interplay of attractors and repellers has only been known for a few years and is roughly similar to the first discovery of currents within this ocean. It is only in the very recent past that we have begun to understand the true dynamics of our universe. The realization that galaxies migrate and flow and are part of complex dynamics is exciting on the one hand, but for researchers, this circumstance also has disadvantages. Our science is slowly coming to a point where it has to give up old desires to be able to describe the universe through mathematics and formulas. The universe is becoming more and more chaotic and wild on the large-scale structures, and our theories and scientific approaches are slowly failing. Within our seas, we can only describe parts, measure water temperatures, we can observe ocean currents, make connections and create maps. We know that the oceans are the water reservoirs of this planet and that certain physical rules apply in water, but we cannot grasp the true nature of an ocean, its richness and complexity with our science. Mapping the universe brings surprises. The oldest maps of the universe are 5,000 years and older. Probably the oldest map of the sky is the Nebra sky disk, which was made by our ancestors many thousands of years ago. It shows the sun, the moon, and very probably the Pleiades. Artifacts like this lead us to wonder how our ancestors perceived the cosmos and why some stars were so important to them that they gave them special worship. Today, we have star maps that show billions of stars, and we have very rational techniques to uncover the secrets of the universe. But instead of generating more knowledge, it seems as if all new insights are raising even more questions. We also have to expect that inaccuracies in the observations, measurement errors, and incomplete data distort the results. Furthermore, the observed galaxies are still only a small part of the total mass present in the universe. Galaxies are not even among the best indicators of the distribution of matter within these structures because they are chaotic and very irregular in themselves. Although galaxies display magnificent geometric shapes, there are structures and dynamics within them that cannot yet be explained. Even the motions of galaxies are difficult to categorize. In addition to their own movements, which are difficult to calculate, galaxies are pushed away from us by the expansion of the universe, and at the same time, they attract each other through the force of gravity. For these reasons, measurements of the velocities of galaxies can be inaccurate and imprecise. Cosmologists usually use various maps to help them here. These are usually compared with each other, and where there are matches, the greatest probabilities arise. Where there are major deviations, however, researchers have to settle for averages. So far, researchers have worked a lot with probability-based values and fewer facts when mapping our universe which has made it difficult to classify our own galaxy. Thanks to the latest algorithms, researchers now have the most reliable picture of the large-scale distribution of matter in the known universe, despite these probabilities. Laniakea, the supercluster that researchers thought our Milky Way was part of, turned out to be an appendix of the much larger Shapley supercluster in the new maps. Laniakea may not yet exist as a distinct structure, even more surprising is the fact that another megastructure has emerged from the Sloan Great Wall region, which breaks all previous cosmological rules. This wall of hundreds of thousands of galaxies and a diameter of about a thousand trillion cubic light years indicates that our universe must be far larger than previously assumed. The dominant attractors blow up our computers. It has long been no secret that there are large points of attraction and repulsion in our universe. But what has remained relatively unknown so far 
is the reason for the existence of these forces. The three-dimensional models, which show the flows and gravitational megastructures in the local universe with unprecedented accuracy, should provide insights into the dynamics. Let's draw a comparison with the ocean again. Imagine that we are really inside a cosmic ocean with what we know as our universe and that this ocean is part of a world. Then we cannot rule out the possibility that we are currently only exploring a strait and mistakenly assuming that it represents the entire universe. We could also find structures within the universe that would correspond to what would happen if we suddenly encountered land masses in an earthly ocean. The 17 large gravitational wells identified so far in our cosmic neighborhood could be interpreted as irregularities on the ocean floor, which then favor certain directions of water flow. The Sloan Great Wall might be something like a stretch of sea, and the smaller structures are regions within that sea. The effects of the Sloan Great Wall are more than twice as large as those of the second largest attractor, the Shapley Supercluster, and the Laniakea was and is a rather small section within this sea. The effects of the large attractors such as Shapley, Hercules, and the Sloan Great Wall push researchers and our computers to the edge of the data field. They simply exceed our capacities and imagination. It's a bit like trying to make predictions about the effect of the entire Pacific on the coast of Hawaii, about one meter below the water surface somewhere in the Polynesian Sea. We simply don't have the position to see these areas and thus place them correctly. Although the new study from Potsdam has already provided groundbreaking new insights, we will need even more precise calculations and maps in the future. All hopes are currently pinned on the ESA's brand new Euclid Telescope, which is currently undertaking a significantly improved mapping of the sky. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory is also expected to provide the most accurate real-time scans of the universe in the near future, and quantum computers may soon fill the gap in our understanding of the universe. Press the subscribe button now, the best videos are yet to come.